chunky bit of furniture that. It is, it's, I, yeah, it certainly is. It's, it's like we said, I just didn't like the walnut. To me it suits this. I think what it is, is the walnut looks too clean, it's maybe even too fine a grain. So when it polishes it up, it looks too, too good. Hopefully, and like, you know, when this is our chance to age a touch, you know, it's going to actually look like what it's meant to look like, like it was made maybe 200 years ago, 300 years ago. Whereas the walnut, it wouldn't have, but I wanted to work with it, I wanted to try it. And that came back to slap me in the face, and now everyone on YouTube hates me. So what are we doing today, Uncle Al? We are guest hosting Popular Woodwork Weekly. Popwood Playback. Popwood Playback. It's a Popwood Playback. Wood. <laughs> I'm gonna put on one glove like a Michael, Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was Bruce Wayne. Dirty Shed Creations! Well, it's not actually Dirty Shed Creations, it's what? Play But. Play But. But. <laughs> you never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your face. Anyway, let's cut to Pascal Makes. <laughs> it's not Pascal. <laughs> oh, Pask. Pop! Wood. He's maybe made me realise that actually we all make mistakes, and I'm not just this perfect person. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. Oh, dud. <laughs> Great stuff. Get on there, watch and subscribe, please. Wood, pop, wood, wood. Wood. Let's get on with our little project that we've got to show you. It's a remake, but we've already got the furniture. It'll give you a taste of the kind of things that we do. Let's get on with it, eh? is why waste all this timber? So we're actually going to make ours around about 20 centimetres, 30 centimetres bigger, so a foot bigger. So it'll spread out the metal work a little bit more. The way we've lined it up now is going to mean that we're actually going to see this interesting knot here. Um, so we'll get, the, we'll get the roughing out done and then we'll work on this line here um, because obviously we've elongated that now so we'll have to work on that sweep and we'll work one side first, we'll get that right and then we'll template that onto the other side. Let's crack a tunga down your throat and get on with it. Pop, pop, pop wood. Pop, pop, pop wood. Talk about pop wood. Pop, pop, pop wood. Talk about pop wood. Pop, pop, pop wood. Right, so there we are, we've got our, uh, our angles cut or our terminuses cut. 
uh, we're going to work on this sweep um, and bandsaw that out and that's going to be in the other workshop so what I suggest we do now is we will get closed up in here and we'll get back in there. Right, we've traced our scroll onto the top here and we're all quite happy with that kind of that curvature there. Obviously it's changed because this, this board is going to be longer. Um, so yeah, essentially we're going to cut to this line here. I've just made that using French curves. Um, we've tried to get a nice sweep into that. Um, I almost like it to look like a kind of the top end or the cutting edge of an eagle's wing, but anyway. Um, so we've got a new blade in the bandsaw. We'll get this side cut out and then we'll use this off cut to form a template for the other side. Just a little trick. So uh, let's get cutting and uh, away we go. Happy with that? As happy as I can be, we've got a bit of sanding to do, but we knew that anyway. These blades are very difficult over kind of what is now five foot to keep a, to keep a straight line and to follow that line because they're meant for really fine, almost jigsaw style shaping. So it's done a, um, it's the only blade I've got in at the moment, so it's the only one we could use anyway. And we always knew we were gonna sand this, so we're going over to the bobbin sander now to kind of get it doing. But I think what we're probably gonna have to do is move the bobbin sander off that bench, nail it to this bench and do the sanding over over here. So we're just tightening up these uh, little transitions here where we go from kind of from straight into the curve of the uh, scroll so that when you look at them they look nice and sharp. Ah yeah I see it. Now just let me clean it up a little bit. Now this is sanded to 100 grit at the moment. We are gonna go higher than that, but before we do, we're gonna get our flamed finish on there. So I'll show you how we do that. Here it is. Al's finished the, uh, well, it's not finished, but it uh, shows you the direction it's going. You happy with it? Yeah, a lot more happy. Funnily enough, I, it dawned on me and I thought, when you see black walnut in England, you tend to see it as a veneer and maybe that's why I wasn't too impressed with the kind of finish we got. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. It's so heavy. Okay. Oh, look at that, the way that went in there. Oh, wow, that made a difference. Don't show that. Okay, yeah, that's coming through. Yeah, a little bit of texture. Yeah. 